welcome to my channel this is my first youtube video i'm so excited welcome my name is cindy rose but you can call me cindy sin sin cinda whatever floats your boat as you can see by the title of this video this is going to be a get ready with me shein try on haul so essentially i picked up a few pieces from shein um and i pretty much just tried them on in this video and in the beginning um just kind of just a little introduction you know and just putting on my makeup so i hope you guys enjoy this video and watch it till the end please don't forget to like comment and subscribe um talk to me nice in the comments and let's get into this video <laughs> All of the damage you did Karma's a real slick bitch My nigga, I owe you one Maybe I'm the chosen one Okay, so I already started off with my eyebrows as you can see So next I'm actually going to do primer And the primer I'm going to use I'm actually going to use like two primers um, One is going to be the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer I'm gonna put that on over my face. I'm going to use um, this e.l.f. Dew Primer Jelly Pop, Ellie Pop, girl. <clears throat> the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I'm just gonna take, as you guys can see, like two pumps of that, rub it together. And put it all over. Um, this is really good because um, it's like a, it's kind of like the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It kind of sticks to you. It makes your foundation stick. But we're not doing too much today. Just gonna do a basic um, basic look because not going anywhere. Just showing you some looks. But I wanted to kind of do it this way because I kind of wanted to get up close and personal with y'all. Have a little vulnerable moment and pretty much explain to you why I'm on YouTube and like my plans or what I hope to come out of it. So before I do that, I'm going to go on with my Fenty Beauty, Miss Riri herself with the hydrating foundation. And I'm in the shade uh, 410. I'm actually going to color correct using... Um, an eyeshadow really quick I'm not gonna do too much because like I say we ain't going nowhere but um, I'm gonna use like an orange shade which is gonna be this one here this is um, the James Charles palette I want it here and this is I'm just doing this real quick so I can color correct and if I'm looking here it's because my camera is my camera my mirror is right here so I need to see because this little viewfinder is not gonna do it for me but I'm just going, as you can see, over my hyperpigmentation. And yes, it's a vulnerable moment because y'all getting real up close and personal. My skin is not perfect, as you can see, but that's okay. Next up, I'm going to use the foundation. And I'm just going to take... Mm, we'll see. Oh, tell me I got foundation. And then I'm going to use a blending brush from e.l.f. And then spray some of this Morphe Luminous Spray on here. And then we're gonna blend. But yeah, so like I was saying, I am very new to YouTube and I'm very excited because this is something I've been talking about doing for years now. And I'm finally taking the leap of faith to do so. And your girl has been procrastinating on doing this mainly because, um, I don't know, it's one of those things where you you kind of second guess yourself, like, you, you, you ask yourself why, like, what would you possibly do on YouTube, who's really gonna watch your stuff, who's gonna relate, who's gonna care, 
who's like just all this judgment thinking of like people's opinions and stuff like that and just all that to a point that i was like really every day con like contemplating like damn city maybe you really shouldn't do this really there's no like what are you gaining out of this like what do you hope to gain out of this and stuff like that just negative self-sabotage which was heavy so heavy I, I didn't do this for a good amount of time like think about it if i'm telling you i've been thinking about doing this for years i know at least three years i've been thinking about it just imagine where how where i would have been if i started three years ago you know and i'm not saying i would have been like a big youtuber or anything like that but who's to say i wouldn't have been you know so it's really the self-sabotage it's real and it needs to stop and i told myself this year i was going to be very intentional about 2021 and go after my goals and youtube was one and the reason why youtube was a goal for me was because honestly when i when i watch tv or turn on my tv the first thing because i have a smart tv the first thing i do is usually go to youtube 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 i love seeing when those like when girls do makeup tutorials or vlogs or you know just like things that teach others like what how to do something you know like whether it's how to contour it doesn't necessarily have to be makeup based you know it could be like a style video a fashion video anything like that like that stuff it excites not excites me but you know it i like seeing it and i'm i always look at it i'm like you know what i wish i could do that you know get paid to pretty much do something you enjoy doing like just live your life regular so that was definitely one of my goals and just seeing you know like the aesthetic of things and just different things that inspire me to do it so it's like cindy why don't you just you like it so why don't you do it like why don't you take that leap but you know like i said that self-sabotage be so real like just talking yourself out of things and just not thinking you can do it and coming up with every excuse in the book why you can't do it. And it's crazy because I would always start. Like, I would start the journey, but, like, I would give up or just stop, you know? And one thing that always stuck with me was when, I think it was my trainer, he was basically telling me, he was like, Cindy, just finish strong. I'm not asking you to go full speed. I'm not asking you to go fast, blah, blah, blah. Just finish strong. And that always stuck with me because if you really think about it, Think about how easy it is to give up on something like it's so easy to say you want to do something but then because it gets hard or because you feel lost or confused or whatever it's so easy to give up so it's not like somebody's telling me Cindy you got to do this you got to do that like you have to you have to make this video and put it out on this particular day da -da -da -da. or it has to look like this it has to be this quality it has to be that no nobody's telling you that just finish just get it done you know and that's the thing i would buy the equipment you know buy the lights buy the camera buy all that and then just stop because i would try and shoot a video i'm like no this is not working this doesn't look right people are gonna think this people are gonna think that to a point where i just literally was stopping myself from going forward like i was at a standstill and it's just like girl stop like people who support you or people who like your content or like what you have to say will watch you and that's all that matters and for those people who aren't even gonna see your video it's like okay they didn't see it so they can't they can't say anything negative you know so it's like you know it's just taking a leap of faith um honestly with youtube i just want to like step out my comfort zone the purpose of it is really to step out my comfort zone and just build opportunities like i would love to be a person with brand deals you know sponsorships and just different things like that to to grow my like a brand you know just to be a brand within its within myself you know and definitely generational wealth like people don't understand there's a bag to be made on youtube like people are making great money on youtube and i'm not saying that i'm just doing it for the money but that is a great incentive but it's also the the satisfaction of being able to step out my comfort zone and be a little less reserved or like you know that's the goal okay cindy is trying to be intentional with coming out of her comfort zone and doing things that she said she wanted to do you know Ooh. all right y'all <clears throat> i was talking too much <laughs> 
but I'm still blending. All right, and I, I'm trying to make this fast. <laughs> but um, I don't think I need any more foundation. Like I said, it's supposed to be a simple look. I mean, let me just put a little bit. Bruh. Just a little bit more. Just, just a tad bit. But yeah. I hope if you come across this video that this gives you the motivational motivational the motivation to go after whatever it is that you've been wanting to do and even if it's not like your best foot forward at least you're making the attempt to you know follow through with your with your goals or your to-do list or whatever it is that you want to happen you know so I'm rooting for y'all and I hope you are rooting for me because honestly, that's, that's everything to me. Just support, love, and just all that, all of that. So next up, I'm going to go in with my concealer, which is the Too Faced Going This Way concealer. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, I'm in the shade Butterscotch and I'm just going to put some at the root of my well the tip of my eye and then some here okay so we're actually gonna go into a voiceover because as i was watching this video back i could tell that my energy was just dwindling down and honestly i can tell you now that it was probably be because of nerves because it is a lot harder than it looks to multitask and try and Talk about what you're trying to do with, you know, me trying to do with YouTube and stuff like that and do my makeup at the same time because you don't want your makeup to look busted. So it was a lot of silent moments and who just wants to watch silent moments? So yeah, so pretty much just to piggyback. Oh, let me tell you what I'm doing. Okay, so I am setting my concealer um, with my setting powder, which is the Laura Mercier in the shade Honey. I will list the products down below if you guys care for that. So to piggyback on what I was saying before about getting into YouTube, a lot of you are probably thinking like, girl, it's just YouTube, just do it. What's what's the big deal? But for someone like me, I've always been that type of person who's always hated taking pictures, hated being in front of the camera, and just hated anything media related. Um, but that was definitely something I wanted to change for 2021. And, you know, just be intentional with my goals and just do what I said I was going to do. And this is why I'm here today. Um, like I said, for some of you, it might think like, okay, girl, it's nothing major, but you got to think about it. For somebody else, this may have been like a major step for them. Like, you know, some people deal with depression, anxiety, or just fear overall. And this, something like this could have been like mohills for them but me just taking that step and the leap of faith of just doing what I want to do something that I enjoy and something that I want to tap into that is the flex okay so nobody's gonna take this away from me the fact that I did it and I'm doing it okay and it's only gonna be growth from here I'll get better at recording videos I'll get better at being comfortable behind the camera I'll get better at editing all that good stuff I'm just excited to see where I start and where I end up how consistent I can be and how like I said how far this will take me um so yeah stay tuned in for more content um more videos in the near future let me throw in a little plug don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video Y'all, the devil is doing overtime, but I'm going to finish strong because camera's dying, ring light's falling, okay? My mascara is on. That's all I got to say. It don't even matter. I don't have lashes on, so they're looking how they want to look. But um, before, next thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to do any blush or anything like that. Because like I said, it's going to be a simple video because I'm just going to show y'all a few outfits. I'm going to do lips. I'm going to line my lips, put a little bit of lip gloss on, and then get, take off my scarf, all that, and then get into these looks. But we're going to finish strong because I'm really trying. I'm really trying. First video, we trying. But I'm just going to take off. I had like a little bit of like lip balm on, so I'm just going to remove that. And then I'm going to put on... You can't even see the label because it's so short now. But this is the um, ColourPop um, lip liner. And I think it's in the shade BFF. But I'm just going to line my lips. A 
like so. And then I'm going to use actually this um, Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. And this is in the shade Moon, number three Moon. If y'all can see that. I don't think you will be able to, but that is the shade. And then I'm just going to put that right on top. And then I'm going to take a little bit of um, this clear gloss. I believe this is the Essence Gloss. It's almost done because I used this bad boy up. And I'm just going to put just a little bit of it just to get it to shine a little bit more. And that is literally it. My makeup is not perfect. This is not um, how I do my makeup every day. Um, this is just like a quick little thing so I can get this video started as a little introduction. Also, let me give you some basic info because I can already tell that the, the way this video is going, it's not how I planned it. But like I said, I'm rolling with the punches. First video. It's only growth from here. Um, just basic info, my name is Cindy, call me Sin, Sin Cinda, whatever floats your boat. Um, 25 years old, I am from Boston. And what else, what else, what else, what else, what else can I say? Um, I do have a full-time job outside of this. Oh, don't get tripped up. A little tickle in my throat. Um, what else? I don't, I don't even know. Um, I'm real low key. I keep to myself and my people and my friends. Um, I don't know what else. I don't, I don't want this to seem like, okay, my hobbies are this, that, that. I think as um, time progresses and more videos and stuff like that come out, you will get to know me a little bit better. Um, I'm still low key. I still like my stuff private. It's it's still going to be that. Like, we ain't going to be all up in the business, but I'm definitely going to share with you things as these videos pop out. So, just stay along for the ride. I'm going to take off this scarf and get into the hair and then just show you these outfits that, well, these items that I got from Shein. And, yeah, let's go. It's me, your body, the So first outfit, I'm going to need to cheat because um, I, I don't have these memorized. So this is the Shein Single Breasted Patch Pocket Cord Overall Dress. So this is a cute little, little something something. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it fits really well. This is a size medium. Um, but one thing about it, there is this one little button here that was tripping me up. It was a struggle to get, it's right here, to, to button this up. And I think it's because of my nails. They're pretty long. Um, but besides that, it fits. It's not like it was too tight or anything. It was just like trying to get it to close. Whew, baby. But I'm proud because it's a medium, you know, not too, not too tight, not too big. I'd probably wear this to, I don't know, probably like maybe a brunch, um, maybe maybe a game night, depending, um, maybe a girls night, who knows, maybe even date night, this is cute, I like this, this is giving me basic vibes, but still cute, I paired them, I don't know if you can see how I paired it with the angle, but I paired it with these boots, these black boots. <laughs> I'm gonna try with the angles, y'all. Please bear with me. Um, but I paired them with these boots that I actually did get from Shein too. I don't know if you can guys see from the mirror view here. Um, but yeah, this is cute. I like this. It's giving me like 70s, 80s vibes. I don't know which decade this would have been in, but I like it. There's also, I believe, another color. I think it comes in burgundy. 
But your girl got this tan brown because I think it's cute. I like it. It's cute. It's cute. You want to see it from the back? It's cute. How y'all like it? No, let me stop playing. <laughs> But I like it. I would definitely wear this. Um, this is actually styled in the photo kind of like this. But this is how I would style it too. I believe she was wearing white. But this is just a, a black bodysuit that I actually got from Shein too. There's a whole bunch on the website. I don't remember which exact one it was. But this is also, I believe, from Shein. But yeah. That is look number one. Okay, so next up we have this Shein split no not shoulder split hem plaid overall dress i memorized this one this time because my phone is sitting on that ring light and i don't feel like going back to it so i memorized it so this is the next dress this is also in the size medium i believe so she's a little short like yeah she's a little short um <laughs> i paired it the same with those boots from before but i could also see myself pairing them with um with other heels such as just regular regular you know black stilet like whatever these are called <laughs> heels kind of like this i can see myself pairing it with those as well um as far as comfort wise i would like to keep the boots on but this is cute um i would probably style this with white as well but um the white that i have are kind of like a ribbed white bodysuit so i'd probably go with the more basic um solid white jumpsuit but this black is cute too um it is kind of short so to each his own um i'd probably wear this somewhere i'd be sitting down most of the time because if i'm gonna have if i'm gonna be at a party wearing this i don't really see that going too well if you know what I mean, like, trying to, yeah, just, try, like, nah, it ain't, it ain't gonna work, <laughs> it's not gonna work, this is like, go to the clubs, post up on the wall type, but you can always bring it down, but it's one of those things that's just gonna constantly ride up, but this is really cute, I like this, um, I don't know what else to say really, um, I pretty much told you where I would wear it too, but this is cute, I like this. Um, they did have other colors in this as well, but like I said, I just went with this one because I thought it was really cute, the all black, black and white plaid. So yeah, multiple ways to style this, like I said, um, but I think this black on black right now, this black on black and white pad, plaid is really cute. What y'all think? Yay, nay. So one thing I do want to mention, it is a knot at the top. Oh, don't mind the bodysuit. Just a little lint. A little lint never hurt nobody. But like I said, um, like I said, the description is a knot shoulder. So it is a knot. So I'm sure if you wanted it to be a little bit longer, you could probably remove these and retie them so that they're a little looser. So this dress essentially could be... Why is it so bright? This dress essentially could be... Um, longer instead of as short as it looks on me so that's one thing to keep into consideration so yeah okay so this is the next outfit i got my phone back so we gonna cheat <laughs> again so this is the off shoulder lettuce edge tee and gingham gingham skinny pants set so this is really cute i like this um i got this also in a size medium um the bottoms are checkered and the top is a crop top um i probably wear this to like a kickback you know a chill night with friends or like even a date night i feel like this is really cute for date night too um like i said it is a size medium it's not too tight it feels good it's comfortable it stretches i don't feel like i'm suffocating or anything like that um I don't know, it's really cute, and it is in a set, but this was a set, so essentially I would pair it like this, but I'd also, since this is a crop top, I could probably wear the crop top with jeans, and the bottoms, I feel like you can probably get away with um, wearing the bottoms to work, um, but like obviously putting a more professional um, shirt over it, like a blouse or something like that, and like maybe tucking it in if it's long, and then kind of swooping it over, you know, just, there's ways to this, um, 
but also to touch back on this being a medium kudos to me kudos to your girl because usually I would opt to getting a large uh, because sometimes with Shein's material, you really never know if you have to size up or not. But I feel like this would have been something I would have had to get a large in. But must be slim thicken or just getting real slim or, you know, whatever the case may be because the medium fits perfectly. Like, this is great. And I'll show you the back again just so you can see. Really cute, really comfortable, stretchy. I wear it. I like it. If you like it, I love it. It's, you know, it's a really cute outfit. I definitely wear this. You know what? So far, no hits and misses um, with this, um, with these items that I picked up. Oh, and what I would wear it with. Y'all, I'm tripping. So I would pair them with um, these black heels like I mentioned before. Or even um, some nude heels. Some nude clear heels. I think that'd be a cute little combo. So yeah, y'all like it? No? Yes? Maybe? What's that? But yeah. <laughs> I like this. See, I got some things to say. So anyways, so this one is the one shoulder top and paper bag waist belted pants set. So... Once again, another set. So, obviously, I paired them together. They came together. But I really like this. This is really cute. I love the pants um, because they also come with this belt, which is really cute. Um, I love the one shoulder um, crop. So, yeah, as you can see, it's cropped. Um, and I also love it because it's interchangeable. Like, let's say I don't really like my left arm or whatever. Um, I could always switch it and make it opposite, vice versa. Um, and it says paper bag, waist, um, wasted pants. So when I hear paper bag, I automatically think of um, like that material, like that thin paper like material. But no, that is not what you get from this. This is really, really cute. And I paired it with some black shoes that keep showing you. I have other shoes. It's just that honesty in the moment for the purpose of this video to wrap it up you know trying to stick to um one thing right now um but of course in the future i will definitely be a lot more accessorized and you know i can even show you can i show you i wish i could let me see if i could do this y'all yeah. can y'all see that i hope y'all can see that so this is really, really cute. It's... <laughs> okay. At this point, it's me for me. <laughs> like, this is really cute. I like it a lot. Um, I don't know. Where would I wear this? Dinner. Take me out on dinner. Take me to dinner. I wear this to dinner. Um, I wear this to... I wouldn't say a baby shower, but I wear it to somewhere that good news is expecting. You know, like, you know, just anywhere. Maybe a wedding shower or something like that. Or, you know, just places like that. Somewhere, I don't say necessarily somewhere professional. Like, I probably could see myself wearing this to, like, a setting where women are beautifully dressed and stuff like that. Still meaning some sexiness, but also meaning some professionalism. Probably, but... I don't know, this is cute. This is cute. I like it. I hope y'all like it too. But this is really cute. And I love the color too. Like it's, I would say orange, brown, ginger. I think that's what it said, ginger, right? Um, but um, this is also a size medium. I'm really lucking out with these mediums because, like I told you, larges used to be my best friend. But yeah. Okay, so obviously, at this point, the common theme is black. Uh, I don't know, I guess I love black because everything up in this haul or try-on has been black. But um, the purpose of this is actually just the sweatpants. Um, these are called the Heavy Jersey Joggers. Um, and this actually is one of my favorite sweats, even though it's basic, you know, um, 
these are actually my favorite they're this is actually in a size small then they're, they're really snug a lot of moving room and the top is actually from um Shein as well i believe but not in this same purchase that i did um so i don't recall what this is called <laughs> but if i can remember i will put it down below but yeah um this is cute i probably wear this I got a chill night, maybe like walking down the street, talking to somebody, you know, type of type of vibe, you know, warm weather type vibe, you know. Or I would just pair it with something else. Like I wouldn't necessarily wear this top with these, <coughs> ooh, with these sweatpants. Um, but I figured since we're doing Shein, might as well be Shein everything. Um, I got some slippers on right now that are actually also from Shein. Um, <laughs> But I don't think you'll be able to see them. Let me take them off so you can see the things I do. It's these. It's these little, um, oh, I might as well. Yeah, I got these. I'll take off the other one, yo. I got these from um, Shein as well. These are a blue cheetah um, slippers. And they're really comfortable. Really, really comfortable. <laughs> um listen Shein is the goal if y'all didn't know now you know and if this doesn't motivate you to go shop at Shein then I don't know what will they literally have any and everything like I should have made this a haul of what I bought from Shein so just a try on haul because I had I gotten so much stuff you know um but yeah these joggers are amazing love them i think i also have them in gray too they're really really cute really really comfortable and nice and form fitting like not too big i'm glad i went with the um the small because i feel like this was the perfect size and yeah you really can't go no wrong with no sweatpants like these are like the perfect sweatpants and the pockets also has pockets which is great and yeah what else y'all want to know I don't know. Yeah, tell me. But it's I like it. I like it a lot. Really comfortable. Okay, last but not least is this Ellie Bazaar mesh bodycon dress. I believe that's what it's called. But this pretty much saved the best for last. This one is my favorite. So I know you're probably thinking, like, Cindy, where's the color? Like, why you got on brown? Like, come on, sis. You probably could have. I know, and trust me, I when I after looking back, I'm like, damn, Cindy, you got all the dark colors, like literally, like why couldn't you get something bright? Next time I will, but this dress, I love it. I love the sleeves, love the mesh sleeves, and I love that you can also put it up here, or if you want it, you could also rock it down like a kind of like a off the shoulder type of thing i love it love it love it love it this dress is probably gonna be my birthday dress for dinner um probably gonna do that because that's how much i really love this dress uh, they also do have other colors for this um but i know brown on my skin just looks beautiful i'll show it to you from the back too so yeah really really like Listen, this is my favorite out of all of them. Um, I paired it with some random heels, so I'm not going to show you the heels because these would not be the heels that I would essentially wear them with this dress. But I just wanted to give it a little bit of height so that you guys can see it throughout the video. But I don't really know what to say. It's the dress for me. Like, I love it. I honestly love it a lot. It's very form-fitting, you know, just... I'm at lost for words. This is also a size medium. Your girl is just, let's just, she's a medium. She's a medium at this point. She is just a medium. It is what it is. But, y'all, if none of the other items sold you, this had to have sold you. Like, this, this is it. Y'all, so we have finally come to the end of the video. Now, if you liked any of the pieces from this video please comment down below which one you like the best um if you think you're gonna purchase your girl's not sponsored so obviously nothing goes to me if you do but i would love to know if i inspired you or if any of these items you were thinking about purchasing right after seeing them 
um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please y'all don't forget to subscribe comment all that good stuff please also let me know in the comments even though i just said this let me know in the comments if anything um from here made you want to purchase and you know a little hashtag since cinda made me do it you know i'm just playing but please y'all thank you so much for tuning in and for watching my video and i wish you the absolute best maybe i'm the chosen one